afternoon. Thank you for the presentation, for the organization. I feel the chosen one, uh, it's challenging for me to close uh, the presentation. However, I will try to do my best in order to keep your attention warm, All right? We promised them drinks at the end, so I think it's However, it's, it's, I mean, to, to relieve some of the stress. However, however, there is, a, I would say, a surprise for the end, an actual survey of a drone that maybe uh, is an incentive for you to, to stay with me. So, uh, the topics uh, itself, I feel that is uh, the same uh, interest as all other topics that has been presented today. It is the drone technology and how it is improving uh, the uh, safety in the shipping industry and what are the next milestones in this new technology. All right, safety first has been uh, meticulously analyzed by uh, the predecessor and uh, of course it is uh, the main goal in, when it comes to the seafarers and the environment and what are the means to secure that we sustain a reliable safety. It's a survey surveys. Uh, all organizations have established the regulation and uh, directions in order to uh, perform, monitor and uh, check all the necessary requirements for the ships in order to safely uh, operate. The holy grail of uh, the surveys are the close-up surveys. The close-up surveys, um, it's uh, the well-known surveys where the structural components, the details of structural components are within the range of uh, uh, visual uh, uh, range of uh, the inspector, normally within the reach of, uh, of, of the hand. Everything starts from close-up and uh, end up to close-up surveys. What are the traditional methods are well-known? Are the scaffolding, the cherry pickers, are the ladders, rafting, in some areas has already been banned due to the environment protection, climbers, and on the other side we have the new technologies. We have the drones, the robotic arms, and ROVs. On the other side, on the one side, traditional methods. Traditional methods entails a lot of dangers uh, to the seafarers and the, the maritime workers. Undoubtedly, working at TH impose dangers of uh, uh, falling or sleeping. Working at uh, confined spaces. It's not uh, a, a friendly environment to work in confined spaces. There are no lighting, there are uh, no oxygen sometimes, and I will come. I would like to come back to what has been uh, mentioned uh, from our uh, co-presenter today about a lot of formalities to get inside the confined space. A lot of procedures, a lot of procedures, a lot of uh, checklist in order for uh, the inspector or the maritime worker to get inside safely. On the other side, we have the remote inspection techniques. You can say safely outside from this risky area in your uh, chair and making the inspection in a more efficient way as we will check forth. Where this remote inspection can be applied? Everywhere. Can be applied in uh, classification uh, surveys because all classes has already regulated this inspection. Since 2019, the IX first has applied the new regulation and then all classes has applied and developed their own directions, all, of, all, 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 all classes. Uh, of course, preliminary conditions assessments, known condition assessment and damage assessment for rapid response with no a lot of formalities. The benefits, first and foremost, safety. There is no reason to put human life at risk when we have the means to avoid something like this. Efficiency. The drones can reach every difficult areas of the ship in order to collect precise data. Precision. So, 
drones are equipped with a sophisticated payload and uh, uh, means in order to have uh, digital data easily captured and uh, at hand for the inspector in order to perform uh, the assessment of the areas in question. What are the technology that is uh, being installed on these drones? Okay, the well-known payloads. Uh, there are several technologies now at hand. We have started from, uh, uh, from digital cameras uh, with uh, high resolution, uh, 4K videos, and recently, this year, uh, companies has launched new drones uh, equipped with LiDAR. The LiDAR is um, um, a device that produces laser pulse in order to have uh, a point cloud of the area and uh, after that to have a digital twin uh, as we will see forth. The next milestone in uh, these technologies are the digitalization. Uh, the digitalization of the remote inspection techniques comprise of three pillars. The visualization, the artificial intelligence, and then at the end of the day, of course, it is a long-run project, the autonomy in inspections. Nowadays, the visualization that we reach with the drones that were used give us the opportunity to have real-time 3D maps combined with uh, the visual data from the cameras, uh, either on board when we are performing the inspection or for post-processing in, back in the office. At the same time, we can localize the point of interest and tag it in order uh, to, to be able to identify where exactly we have this, this point of interest. And also to produce the digital twins that uh, uh, ultimately will, uh, will uh, help us to the future autonomy. Also, the artificial intelligence and machine learning tools can be used in order to assist the surveyor to identify um, failures that will be difficult to, 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 to check with the traditional methods. Uh, can assess a level of corrosion, coating failures, structural deformation, and others. And of course, what we are looking into, the end goal is the autonomy. Having a drone flying itself in a cargo hold or in a ballast tank, being able to identify uh, historically recorded points uh, of interest and then to double check or to find new point of interest uh, or to adjust the flight accordingly and at the, and at the end of the inspection to return back to to the inspector wall with all this data collected. Uh, let's, let's, let's have a look uh, to this small surprise. This is from uh, a real an actual inspection that we perform on uh, a bottom ballast tank. Of course, a, a short uh, video just to have uh, a view and inside how this performed. Just the flight just started entering the manhole and getting to the bottom with no any consideration about bumping or something like this because the carbon fiber cage protect the drone and assist uh, the pilot to enter this confined space still getting down fully dark but using uh, 12,000 lumens of lighting you can see everything you will check a, a cable here that is an extender in order to secure that we have uh, a robust signal and not to lose the drone inside the ballast tank Now the inspection starts. Of 
Of course, in order to, to perform such kind of, uh, of uh, inspection, you should have a, a competent and experienced pilot with a lot of uh, hours of flight. Now the surveyor, coupled with uh, the pilot, is sitting outside this confined space, can have a thorough view of uh, the asset uh, in question to be inspected and uh, having finalized the inspection then return back to uh, both safely with a lot of data collected and this can be continued and uh, have all the ballast tank inspected in one and a half day at the same time with traditional methods, a lot of formality, you know better than me, a lot of formality has, should be applied and approved. Now, nothing. And the drone can back. Thank you for your attention. I feel that uh, I, uh, I keep the pace. I have one minute left for you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.